<laughs> you're watching this video because you want to play Disney Infinity game on Dolphin Android but you're stuck on this screen and you don't know what to do. But before we start this tutorial, I'm going to explain how Disney Infinity game works. Playing Disney Infinity on a real Wii hardware, requires Disney Infinity Base. The Infinity Base is essentially the central hardware that connects your physical Disney Infinity figures to the game. The Infinity Base is a small platform you plug into the Wii's USB port. It has designated figure spots, usually two, one for play sets, one for power discs characters. Each spot has NFC, near field communication, sensors under it. Each Disney Infinity figure has an NFC chip in its base. When you place a figure on the base, the chip communicates with the base, sending data like which character it is, experience level, power upgrades. The Wii reads the figure's info through the base. It loads the character into the game so you can play as that figure. Some figures unlock new abilities or game content, like new worlds or quests. Power Discs These are small circular discs that also have NFC chips. Placed on the base, they provide temporary boosts or cosmetic changes in-game. The Infinity Base is basically a bridge between the physical toys and the digital game world. Without it, the game cannot read your figures and you can't play the game. But the good news is Dolphin Android now supports Disney Infinity Base since version 5.019334. Meaning, you can emulate this game without the Disney Infinity Base hardware and its physical toys and discs. In order to do that, follow this tutorial video carefully. First, open your Dolphin Android version 2509. Tap the cog icon, and then tap config, after that tap Wii. Once you're inside Wii, scroll down and look for Infinity Base toggle. Turn on Infinity Base, and then run the game. Tap the back button on your navigation bar to open the side menu. Scroll down and look for Infinity Base. And under Player 1, tap plus button. This will allow you to create a clone of your selected toy figure. After choosing a toy figure, tap Create. The app will ask you to save a file with a .bin file extension, just tap Save. Do the same thing for creating a play set or a power disc. Under Power Disc and Play Set, tap the plus button and choose your desired power disc or play set. After that tap Create. If the app asks you to save a file with a .bin file extension, tap Save. Now let's check it out if my toy figure and power disc will work. I've selected Vanellope's toy figure, meaning my character should be Vanellope and I also include Pizza Planet Delivery Truck as my power disc. We're able to pass through the screen where the game gets stuck. The game is now checking our toy figure and power disc. Welcome to the center of your experience, the toy box. Anything is possible here with a spark of imagination. You can drive a car, battle evil minions, or hunt for hidden treasure. Want to create your own unique world? Check out the red world pad to master your skills. As you can see, the character that we're controlling is Vanilo, and the Pizza Planet delivery truck is also there, so this tutorial was a success. Like the video if you found this video useful. Don't forget to share this video to your friends. Inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel.